Sendai mochi, probably like the most famous thing in Sendai. Looks like your typical kare ban. And here is my Zunda melon pan. Isn't this beautiful? Getting out of that, that, that box of fear that I was in. Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Sendai. I am scrambling right now. I am looking for the train and stuff to take. I found it. Senseki Line. Senseki Line. Okay, here we are. I believe this is the line for my train. Oh, oh I hope I get to sit. We've arrived at Matsushima Kaigan Station. That's a sign. Welcome to Matsushima Kaigan Station. Uh, I'm actually very excited. Very, very excited because, well, I think I've been here once a long, long time ago, but I don't remember. And I believe I was here for just like 20 minutes or so. So I didn't really get to explore the area. So it looks like there's an onsen here as well. Here we are. Welcome to Matsushima Kaigan Station. Most people call this area Matsushima, I think. And this place is considered one of the three top best views in Japan. As soon as you get off the station, there's a street with uh, shops and restaurants. Kind of nice. Looks like a nice town. I think that's residential down there. Uh, this is tickets for the ferry. If you want to go on the ferry, do I want to do that? I'm not sure. Let me think about that. This place sells uh, beef tongue because that's what Sendai is known for. What's here? This is oyster shop. Closed today. This is another uh, eating place. Doesn't seem to be open. Am I too early? Maybe I'm too early. It's already past 10 though. Which way do I go? Do I go this way? Or do I go this way? Anyway, that's the station. Alright, I'm just gonna follow these people here. <laughs> to be honest, uh, this is my um, third day in Sendai. Well, first day was my traveling day. And I, I was just so exhausted, I pretty much couldn't do anything. And then I was thinking of coming here yesterday, but I was still very very tired and so instead I just kind of walked around the city and um, that's a, that was a good thing because um, now I, I know the city a little bit more not great but a little bit more than I used to so I can take you guys along for a walk tomorrow but um, yeah I'm, I'm glad I rested because I feel so much better this is what I do you know if if I get lost, I just kind of follow people. <laughs> it's my way of getting around. Uh oh. Oh no, there's snow. I, I, it's not snowing today, so I, I, I didn't wear my snowshoes today. I'm just wearing sneakers. Uh oh. Oh, I don't want to fall. I wonder if it's, it's. It is a little bit slippery. Oh no. Okay. The, Let's do our best not to fall. Okay, it's not too bad. Am I going in the right direction? I don't know. Hmm. Just wait. Is it this way or is it 
that way. I kind of like the reason why I say that is because there are not many people here, and it's a popular tourist spot. Eh. Well, that's okay. Let's walk to the water. I see water over there. Okay, this snow is not too bad. Actually, the snow is actually quite beautiful. It's sparkling and it's not that slippery. That's very good indeed. I uh, wonder what that building is over there. Hmm. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, some parts of the snow is ice. It's shining, you can see. Okay, there's like a little guide map there. Ah, maybe, maybe maybe that's the main place. I don't know. I see some castle looking structures over there Here we are at the the waters and You see some of the islands over there Yeah, I think I think I have to get myself over there because that's the red bridge that I want to cross But this is quite beautiful And looking on the other side, that's the mountains in front of me. It's a beautiful place. Not only am I going to cross over to that island uh, using that red bridge, I'm going to eat some food. I hear uh, this place is famous for um, oysters and anago. Also, uh, I can get some uh, Sendai specialties like Zunda and Sasa Kamaboko. You know, this past month, I've been experiencing a lot of snow. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Is this the right way? Okay. I think this is the right way. I hope so. This is very pleasant though. Wow, this structure is right on this cliff here. Actually, this is a very beautiful area. Very beautiful corner right here. I like this. Ah, oh, nice. A lot of you guys know that I suffer from anxiety. I have um, what you call it, anxiety disorder or panic disorder. It's not as bad these days to be honest with you. But when I was in Niseko on the bus, I had one. That was really tough for me. Very, very tough. But I made it. And that's the reason why I was a little bit hesitant on coming here by myself because it is a 41 minute train ride I'm very happy that I made it here I'm very happy that I decided to come because every time I go to a new place uh, despite my anxiety and fears I overcome something and I become stronger and I become less afraid All right, I think I'm gonna cross over to that side Wait, Matsushima Nature Park. I have to get my bearings. Uh, okay, I'm up there. So near. Okay, so I, so I think I, I, I have to get myself over there. That seems quite far. Here or here? No, no. There, I think there. I, I think. I know where I'm going now. I studied the map a little bit. First place I want to go is here because I am hungry. So this place here is popular for their um, oyster curry bread. And I think I'm gonna get that. The oyster karepa. 
Oh no, sorry, it's not. No, it is oyster. Should I get the oyster? The oyster curry pan. Yeah. Okay, let's get that. Hi, eto kak eto kaki no curry pan one and a zunda melon pan one. Where are you? Hi. Are you okay? Eto, I don't need. Hi. Yeah, we have this here. This is a zunda melon pan. Which is 200 yen, and then the curry pan, which is 300 yen. Ah, hi, thank you very much. Melon pan. Melon pan. Hi, thank you very much. So this place is called Pensei. Looks like they are bakery. Right next door, they have a little a souvenir shop, which I definitely have to come and check out later. So yeah, this is a bread shop, Pensei. Uh, right next to the bread shop, like you see all the vending machines right behind me. If, if you're thirsty, you can buy your drinks here. I can't believe I bought two. <laughs> I was planning on just buying one of them, but I had to get both. I mean, where else can you get oyster curry bread and zunda melon pan? <laughs> and I kind of have to look for somewhere to eat these. Let's see, where can I eat? my bread and there's also a couple of temples that I want to visit later today I think one is in here oh there are more shops here I promise I'll take you guys to the island I'll take you to see the nice view I can't help it though I get distracted by shops all the time I do have to watch the ice on the ground you see the ice Sendai is also known for sake. This place, this place has Sendai sake, I believe. And this looks like another souvenir shop here. I wonder if this is one of the temples. Could be. Looks like it. Looks like it. All right. Um. Actually, I'm gonna look for a bench first, so we can try these uh, goodies out. Oh, here we are. I'm gonna sit myself down somewhere here. Look, there are more shops. <laughs> shops are opening up. Yay! Uh, I really can't eat too much today. I gotta meet my friend Michael tonight for dinner. Okay, let's sit right here. Right here. <sighs> First we're gonna try is the curry bread with oyster inside. Kaki kare pan. So this is what it looks like. It looks like your typical kare pan that you see anywhere. Hmm. I like the taste of the curry. Mm. Oh, there, the flavor of oysters. I actually like oysters as long as they're not raw. I like them cooked, so this is great. Also, the curry is really nice because it's oyster curry. It doesn't have that beefy flavor or porky flavor that curry usually has. It's more like a seafood curry. I like it. The outside is crispy. Look at that. Look at that oyster. This is the second oyster. I already had a whole one. This is delicious. That was a big piece of oyster. <laughs> wow. And there's another whole oyster inside. And here is my zunda melon pan. Zunda is uh, crushed up soybeans and it's sweetened. Uh, they use it like azuki here in Sendai. This is the melon pan. I just uh, tore it in half so you can see the inside. That's the zunda paste. Yeah, zunda is so delicious. If you like edamame, I think you'll like this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, that's good. I love that crunchy cookie crust. Mmm, so good. And a little buttery too. Mmm, mmm. Very tasty. Mm, just slightly sweet 
I do like the grainy texture of Zunda. It's always grainy. Ah, oh, this is good. Now that I am fully nourished. Oh, that was so good. That really was good. Uh, let's go exploring. No, seriously, I wasn't expecting much from the karepan and meronpan. But that, it was really good. Oh, that looks like a nice cafe over there. It's nice. I'm gonna visit these shops later on. Oh, look at that nice building up there. I wonder what that is. It kind of looks like a castle, but it looks like someone lives there. It's a nice gift shop here. Okay, so let's see. First place we're gonna visit is here, Godaigo. Godaido. This is, um, I think it's a national treasure. Let's visit this place first. I think we, I think we go up here. Wow. The reason why I said wow is because I never thought I would be coming here by myself, you know? There's a nice little shop here. It's souvenirs. Let's see. So this is the Godaido Skashi Bridge. Godaido is a shrine where the five great kings are enshrined for the protection of Zuiganji and the entire island is considered a sanctuary. Yeah, so that's what it says. Okay. Oh, this is a scary looking bridge. <laughs> Whoops. You do kind of have to watch your step. You don't want to step in here. That's the ocean down there. Oh, here we are. This looks like a very old building. I wonder how old it is. Uh, here's some information here. So... Ah, uh, okay. So this here is a Buddhist hall. Uh, it was built in 1604 by Date Masamune. I was told that you would appreciate uh, this whole area a lot more if you go to the museum first to learn about Date Masamune and a little bit of history about this whole area. I'm doing everything backwards really. But um, still, I find myself um, able to appreciate this, you know, for its beauty. So, I think it's okay. Look at this view. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Now we're gonna walk over across that red bridge and to that island over there. Oh. oh yeah, my mom would have a hard time walking across this bridge. She'd be freaked out. Let's go over there. Oh. <clears throat> A lot of obstacles though. 
lots of obstacles on the way to the other island. There are more shops. Oh, oh, spaghetti! Oh, what a nice souvenir shop! Yeah, I have to visit this place on the way back. You know, when I was younger, I was never really interested in beautiful views or temples or shrines. I was more into all the shops, you know, along the way to the temple. There's another shop here. Oh, they have Oshiruko. Oh, I haven't eaten Oshiruko this year yet. Duh. Um. Ah, oh, they have Dango here. Look at that. They have an assortment of Dango and Dorayaki. Oh no, they have a tiramisu. Tiramisu Dorayaki sounds delicious. Check this out. Whoa. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a seafood plate. Wow. And this is the beef tongue that Sendai is so famous for. I don't know what's going on, but I thought I was filming. And I realized I wasn't filming. So I walked about five minutes thinking I was filming. Sorry about that. Let me explain to you what happened. So I just kept going straight along this street full of uh, souvenir shops and I think I have to walk back uh, they have a oikini oyster thing here it's 2200 yen for 40 minutes I, I, I don't really eat that, that many oysters so I don't know if that's reasonable or expensive 2200 yen for 40 minutes oikini oysters what do you guys think? Is that reasonable? Is that too cheap? Too expensive? Let me know. Okay, I think I have to cross over there. You see, I started all the way down there and I kept walking this way. And I got distracted by all these shops on my right side. This sake shop. And there's a Matsushima shopping center there. Right here, Matsushima shopping center. Which I'm definitely going to visit later on. I wonder what they have. More oysters maybe? Ah, oh, that's another uh, souvenir shop too. Okay, so I think we walk across here. It's actually starting to feel a little colder than I like it to be, so I have these fingerless gloves on right now. It's not super, super cold, but I do need gloves. Okay, so let's cross the street. Everyone's um, advertising their, their stores. <laughs> yeah, it looks like oysters are the specialty of this place. Wait a minute. See, that's where I want to go. But it's pointing that way. No, I think I'm okay. No, I, I think this is the right direction. This looks like a hotel here. Matsushima Century Hotel. Okay, I yeah. This is the right direction. Fuku Urajima. Oh, what a beautiful day. I was afraid that it was going to be cloudy today. It is kind of cloudy, but it's beautiful. And this hotel actually looks kind of nice. Look at that. All oh, the rooms, most of the rooms overlooking a bay. Ah, this act, this actually is a onsen hotel. Yeah, so the rooms overlook the bay, but you can also take a, a bath in the onsen. Sounds nice. Hmm. Ah, restroom facilities. I think this is the right way. Yes, there's a walkway, there's a sidewalk here. Great. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the shimmering water. Oh, 
that's beautiful. Let me just stand here for a while and take in the view. I think I mentioned this in another video, but my new goal is to visit all the prefectures here in Japan. You know, there are so many places that I don't know about yet in Japan. I don't know why I waited so long. I think I've been so interested in international travel. So I think it's time for me to explore more of Japan. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay. So I believe this is one of the, the smaller islands. Not exactly sure how many islands there are here. Wait. Does the sidewalk end here? Oh, oh it does end here. That's okay. That's okay. I see. So there's a fee to cross the bridge and uh, get to the island. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so the entrance fee was 200 yen, so not too bad. I don't mind paying entrance fee to places because you do, someone has to pay, you know, for the upkeep and stuff. Okay, let's cross this bridge. But before that, I must change my battery. I'm running out of battery. Wow, isn't this beautiful? Oh, this is so nice. For some reason, I don't remember it being so beautiful the last time I was here. I think one reason was that we were in such a rush and we had 30 minutes to spend here and there's a lot more people. Oh, this is so nice. I wonder if this is where they catch all the oysters. I'm pleasantly surprised at how beautiful this is. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting it to be so beautiful just because my memory, I, I don't have memories of this. I don't remember it being so beautiful. I remember it being kind of dark because we came like right before sunset or maybe the sun had already set. I, I don't remember. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh. Yeah, so this place is uh, considered to be one of the three most beautiful places in Japan. Three most beautiful views or something like that. Sugoikire. Oh. This is very, how do you say, it's very healing for the soul and also very good, very good to like calm your mind and in my case calm my nerves. <laughs> What's this here? I don't know, are these just rocks? Almost look like shells. It's beautiful. Beautiful place. I just love how quiet and peaceful it is. So here we have 
of Kuura Island sightseeing map here. Uh, let's see, what can you see here? Um, really, it looks like it's just a natural island and there's just lookouts and there's a little temple there. Uh, yeah, that, that, oh, there, there's a little shrine here, Bentendo and, and rest area, restroom. Nice. It's a pretty small island. I do have to be careful because the the ground is covered with kind of icy snow. So I'm going to walk slowly if you don't mind. Satoshi tells me I, I should walk like a penguin. It'll prevent me from slipping. I do hope you guys are having a good start to 2022. And um, I do hope all your wishes come true this year. I hope, you know, things get back to some, some kind of normal this year. Hopefully, hopefully borders open this year so that we can all see each other again. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Until then, until the day when all of you can visit Japan again, I hope you all enjoy my videos. I try to make my videos so that it feels like I'm taking you guys along with me. Kayanozaki, I can go this way. Or I can kind of stick to this road. I think I'll stick to this road for now. My fingers are cold. Fingers freezing you know my I'm going to take off my mask when there aren't any people around do you guys get out into nature often for those of you that live in the city do you get out in nature Ah, too bad this place isn't open. Looks like they uh, serve amazake, which is like hot, um, non-alcoholic uh, drink. It's made with um, uh, the remnants of sake. It's delicious. It's like a fermented drink. This looks like a lookout where you can sit and just relax and contemplate life. Benches here. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, yeah. What a view. I'm gonna sit here just for a moment. I'm literally the only person here right now. There's no one around me. It's so nice. Oh, that was so nice. I ended up sitting there for about 20 minutes. Yeah, a good 20 minutes. I just sat there and just looked at the view and just felt so much gratitude. I had so much gratitude for being able to come here. So, thank you. Thank you for letting me come to this beautiful place. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that couple in front of me. Those lovebirds. There's another 
amazing viewpoint here. Ah, such a beautiful island. If you guys need to go wee wee, you have toilet facilities here on the island. So don't worry. Yep. Looks like you can go in there, but I'll stick to this um, outer rim of the island. Later on, I'll, I'll go on the inside, I think. If I have time, I'd like to go to the bigger island. I think there's a shop there. Satoshi said there's a shop there. Is it one shop or a couple of shops? I don't quite remember. I wonder if this is the temple. I think it is. Another beautiful structure. Looks very similar to the to the to the temple that we first visited. It's nice. Okay, so here's a little guide here. So this island here is Hikidoshima. Um, yeah, that's that one is Omonijima, Katsurashima, Hikidoshima, Nonoshima. Oh, there's a lot of islands here. Lots of lots of islands. Here's a view. Beautiful. I can hear the beach. I can hear the water crashing on the shores it looks like it down there oh, so peaceful so it looks like uh, if you go in there that's a multi-purpose field or something like that yeah. let's go check it out very quickly Kind of fun. It's fun slash relaxing. A lot of up and downs, so you get some exercise. Makes my legs stronger because you know I'm not getting any younger. So I have to make sure that I'm using my joints, my legs. Where am I going? <laughs> Are you? Okay, looks like that's the multi-purpose field, but I'm way up here. Wait a minute. Yeah. I, okay. I'm fine. <laughs> As long as it's not icy, I'm fine going downhill. So far, so good. Oh my goodness. Uh, do I want to keep walking this way? Almost feels as if some kind of wild animal is gonna come out of nowhere. And it is kind of slippery now. Okay, walk like a penguin, walk like a penguin. Walk like a penguin, you are a penguin. Okay. We'll see how far I'll get. Yeah, this is fine. This is as far as I'll get. Sorry, I cannot show you the multi-purpose field. Okay. There are steps leading back out to the... Oh! Slippery. Uh oh. 
I'm gonna film myself ju just in case I fall and die. It'll be oh, it'll be captured on camera. Oh my gosh! Okay. Wait a minute. Is this where I'm supposed to be? I guess. I hope. Yeah, I definitely wore the wrong shoes. Definitely. It did not snow for two days here in Sendai. In the city, there's no snow on the street. So, I did not expect it to be like this here. Oh my gosh. Now we're going downhill here. <sighs> penguin, penguin. Walk like a penguin. Okay. Ah, <sighs> it's better. <sighs> you know, I almost slipped again yesterday walking around Sendai. So that served as a reminder to be extremely careful. Oh no, I don't like these uh, hills. Um, let's see. I'm wondering if there's a there's a safer pathway. Okay, let's get myself up here first. Oh my goodness! Now I'm walking uphill. Oh oh. Oh, scary. It's good that we're up here now, but then we have to go down again. So this is a pavilion. Oh no. I'll stay here. I don't want to go there. It's slippery, I'll probably fall. So here's another view here. Let's enjoy the view here while I'm still alive. I know, I must sound absolutely ridiculous. But I'm truly, truly afraid of slipping and falling. So I'm looking at my map and it looks like I'm there, you see? So there is no road down there. So I guess I go around this way and then I go back to the bridge. Of course I can go from where I came from. I don't know. I'm gonna walk down again. Oh, I don't like this. Don't like this slippery road. So I was thinking maybe I'd go that way, but then it looks like it's steeper that way. So I think this way might be better. Yeah. So let me show you what it looks like this way. If I go down this way, you see? It's a steep hill. All the way down there. Oh, I wonder what's down there though. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, 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 no. I think I'm gonna go back this way. <laughs> you see, other people are having a hard time going down too. Don't slip. Do not slip. Be careful, everybody. Okay, here we go. Let me think, should I walk over there? This is a dangerous portion, the slippery portion. That, if I fall off the cliff, well, that's the end of it, so I'll just kind of gingerly step on the dead leaves here. Yeah, this looks like the smart move. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, wow. 
Yeah, I really did not think about icy grounds. Oh no. So I have to go down there. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to continue to step on the the dead leaves here, I think. I think this is safer. Yep. Seriously guys, slipping on ice and falling is not fun at all. I was lucky because I didn't hit my head or anything. But I hear, you know, people get injured all the time. Obviously, I'm walking so slowly. Oh, the snow is so slippery here. I don't like this. Huh. I was having such a peaceful, beautiful time. And suddenly, it's becoming scary. Damn it. Oh, the ice here. Wherever I'm stepping, it's very slippery. Yep. Don't like this. Fuck. No, I think that's fine. Going downhill now. I don't like the downhill part. In a way, filming my footsteps is a good way for me to focus on where I'm stepping at. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know, this is something I also learned from my trip to Hokkaido as well as this one. Walking in snow and, you know, icy uh, pathways, roads, streets, uh, is very, very exhausting. Because, you know, you're tense. Damn it, we're going down again. Just a little bit. Okay, here we go. Now, oh my gosh, where am I? What? Am I at a dead end? No. Wait a minute. No, where am I? Where am I supposed to go from here? Uh oh. Nope, 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 that's a dead end. All right. So, definitely not down there. I don't think so. Where did I get lost? This is strange. Oh no, okay. I have to go back again. not really enjoying this part of the island I don't see any signs where are the signs okay don't slip you do want to, you do not want to slip and fall down here my gosh this video is going to be all about me not falling. Okay. I have a feeling that the best thing to do is to 
go back where it came from. What do you think? Because for some reason, I'm lost. Or is this the street? Is this the road I'm supposed to go down? Wait, where did it come from? Wait a minute. I think I came from up there, right? So, yeah, maybe it's this way. I, yeah, this, this looks like a proper pathway. Can't be that difficult. This is a small island. Oh, we're gonna go uphill again. I, I think these hills. That's okay, it should be fine. It's actually not that slippery here. So it's good. <laughs> I apologize. I, apl I apologize for being such a chicken. I did not expect myself to be filming myself trying to walk without falling on an island. Yeah, now all I can think about is safely getting off the island. That's all I wish. Oh. Okay, so you see, so now, you know, I walked all the way up here, so I have to walk down again. This is what I don't like about all of this. Grass park. Okay, we'll go to the grass park. I don't need to go that way because I think this goes to another dead end. So I would like to head down to the bridge area. I think that's a good idea. Is this something that you'd like to do? Sorry, I, I think I'm making it seem like it's not enjoyable. It actually is. I think I'd enjoy this much more if it wasn't ice. You know, it wasn't like these icy conditions. Like during the summer, for example. I hope I'm not making this seem like it's a terrible thing to do. It is quite enjoyable, I think. <laughs> All right, grassy field. Um, oh, we're gonna go down again. Are you serious? No. Well, maybe once we get down to the grassy field, I don't have to climb up anymore. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Stairs are fine. I don't mind climbing. Oh no. See, I don't like these inclines. They, they're like slides, you know? So I'm very quiet right now because I'm being very careful. Okay. Not too bad. Sorry, I'm shooting so much footage of my the ground. I profusely apologize. Okay, we're almost down the grassy field. There's no grass though. It's all covered with snow. What are you talking about? Here we are. Here we are. Grassy field. <laughs> There's no grass. Snowy field. Let's call it the snowy field. The good thing is that, you know, like if I fall here, it's not like I'm going to fall off a cliff, so it makes me feel just a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is kind of pleasant. This is nice. Uh, I can feel my uh, muscles relaxing. I swear, I had a knot in my stomach. I feel that. I hope I'm not walking on like a frozen lake or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not or else the, the, there would be signs, right? Yeah, and I also see footsteps. Okay. 
Let's go to that little beach area there. Oh no, what am I doing? I forgot, I'm wearing the wrong shoes. My feet's getting wet now. Damn. Okay, well, let's look at the view from here. Peaceful, very peaceful. And also very cold. Can you see part of the, the bay, the water is partially frozen. Tells you how cold it is today. I need to get out of the snow because my shoes. Oh, oh no. Wearing normal sneakers in the snow, not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. All right. Let's uh, compose myself, shall we? Composing myself. Getting out of that, that, that box of fear that I was in. Oh, I was very, very nervous up there. All right, guys, let's walk back to the bridge and get back on the mainland, shall we? This is the part I really should be careful because I think it's pretty obvious I'm walking faster now because I feel like I'm okay now, yay! And then I slip, you know, that's how I slipped in the otaru. I was like, ah, you know, I'm out of the snow and the ice. I'm okay now. And I started walking a little faster and then that's when I slipped. So be careful, guys. Uh-oh, now we're walking up again. Yeah, walking up snowy hill is not so fun. Did you guys enjoy that walk around the island? Did you guys find it funny that I was so scared? Anyway, either way, I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. Now let's go walk back to the mainland, find something to eat. Help me calm down a bit. Get myself that Zunda shake that I've been wanting for ever since I arrived in Sendai. Zunda shake, here I come. All right, so we're on the mainland. And I have come to check out the little souvenir shop here. See if there's anything I'd like to buy and take back home with me to Tokyo. I usually don't buy a lot of souvenirs just because uh, I have so much stuff at home already. So I simply don't have space for anything. If it's food, it's okay because they can be consumed. So here we are. Um, I do want to throw away my empty bottle of tea. You can usually find, yep, you can usually find a bin right next to a vending machine. So that's good. Okay, let's check it out. So here are some local specialties. Um, Interesting, I wonder what this is here. Hmm. Not really sure what that is. Mm. 
Um, got rice crackers. Zunda Ankoro. This looks good. Oh, I might buy this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Zunda Ankoro. Hmm. It's actually a pretty nice store. A lot of stuff. Hmm. Uh oh. I gotta try my best not to buy too much here. Okay. So I was very good. I ended up just buying one small little item. I was very good. I bought that Zunda Mochi and that's it. That's it. I decided not to buy anything else, huh? Uh, most of the items were like oyster based um, and well not really like a huge huge fan of oysters so that's okay and uh, they had hoya which is a seafood that I don't particularly like either. So no problem, just a lot of Zunda things and I, I, and I can buy more uh, Zunda items in Sendai so that's cool. Plus I don't really need to be lugging something heavy in my backpack. I'm gonna get something here. Looks like they have some snacks here, some local specialties. So I'm gonna check this place out. Yeah, Zunda Mochi sounds good to me. So let's try the beef tongue tsukune. This is ground up beef tongue on a stick. Mmm. Just like the melon pan and the, the oyster curry bread. Much, much tastier than I expected. I don't know what I was expecting. I usually eat tsukune. Usually tsukune is made with chicken. But this is um, much beefier, heartier, maybe more savory. Mmm, have a really nice texture too, like a bouncy texture. Mmm, good. Mmm. Oh, this is really good. Mmm, very recommended. And let's try the Zunda Mochi. The Zunda Mochi, probably like the most famous thing in Sendai next to beef tongue. Mmm. 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 This is the taste of happiness. Mmm. Zunda has a gritty texture, which I love. Um, you can taste the edamame flavor, but it's sweetened, slightly sweetened. Mochi is super smooth and soft. And Zunda is also very healthy because it's made with um, edamame. Mm. I've seen it. Mm, so good. Mm. Mm. I don't really know the name of the shop. I don't. I don't see the name anything I, there's no sign actually but it's located um, right by that island I was at you know that island with the red bridge it's right between there and here that that first tiny island with the temple so it's right in between there and there's a restroom here yeah it's right here super easy to find if you come here you cannot miss it. If you miss it, something is definitely wrong with you. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Actually, everything I've eaten here was really tasty. Yeah, oh wow, I really enjoyed that beef tongue on a stick. It was ground up and I love the texture and the, just, just the, it was just so flavorful. Really good. I'm stuffed. I'm so full from all that food. I had four items today. <sighs> Curry bread, Zunda melon pan, beef tongue on a stick, and Zunda mochi. Wow, so much carbs. But what's new, right? <laughs> so this is the temple that we first encountered. 
um, before walking around and I thought I'd come back to this place it's beautiful I think it's a temple let's see what does it say here this is the Zuiganji temple okay so Date Masamune built this temple in 1609 I see I see and this is the main building the priest's kitchen and corridor I'm very interested in checking out this here. I see something here. This is really cool because I don't know if you guys can notice this, but it kind of looks like caves, huh? Doesn't it? This is a cave right here. Wow, very interesting. So yeah, th this is a Zui Ganji Temple Caves. Originally used as an area for memorial services and, and cremation. That's what it says. Looks like this was used for that purpose until around the Edo period, that's like 18 something, 1860s, something like that. It's kind of amazing. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. You know, I mentioned that I don't like oysters that much, but I do have to admit though, I like them a lot more now than I used to. Like uh, maybe 10 years ago. I, I didn't like oysters 10 years ago. And then, and then I got like accustomed to eating them deep fried. Deep fried oysters, they weren't too bad. You know, because deep frying things make everything taste great, right? And then I kept eating deep fried oysters. I think I was also very, very scared that I was going to... Uh, like run into a bad oyster and get food poisoning or something but I never did and then um, I did try raw oyster once after that it wasn't too bad and then just now I had the oyster in the curry bread right it was so good it's such good flavor so I gotta say I do like the taste of oysters now I do it's they're quite delicious all right a look at these caves one more time just amazing they go all the way down to there it's so interesting to me wow can we just look at how beautiful this place is look at the trees they're so symmetrical going straight up and then the snow Had this white beautiful color to the temple grounds most likely there's a fee to enter the temple that's fine let's see how much is it you got a little 700 yen to enter the temple no problem okay so you buy by vending machine 700 yen Here we go, my ticket Let's go in Right. So welcome to Zui Ganji Temple.
you know, temples always calm my mind. Makes me feel very calm. Because usually temples are very peaceful places. Oh, look at these trees. It's beautiful. Oh. Nakamu. So this is the main temple building. Ah, I like it. It's very nice. It's simple, but I like the simplicity of it. So it looks like this temple was built in 1604. So I just finished my tour of the temple as well as the museum next door. Uh, no photography or video, video allowed inside. So I couldn't really show you guys. But it was beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. And so I'm, right now, I'm, I just came out of the temple. Well, more caves over here. And there's this street here lined with uh, shops. But... Looks like it's closed. Yeah, Ninji Kyugyo. They're closed due to the, you know what, not enough people here for them to do business. Looks like there are a lot of tourists here, like foreign tourists as well, because I noticed that uh, they have um, English here. Zundamochi, that's what I had earlier. Kuzukiri, Amitsu, Sanshoku Dango. Too bad. I cannot wait until borders open. You know, for the sake of these businesses here. Yeah. This shop is closed too. It's a beautiful street. Look at this. This is a house where sailors in the Sendai clan used to live. Interesting. Back in 1605, built in 1605, it says. Yeah, this is a beautiful street. And right next door to that temple is another temple called Ensuin. This is the temple here. Just paid my admission. Just a small fee of 300 yen. Not bad, not bad at all. Very reasonable. Oh, immediately, there's a beautiful garden. It must look different when there's no snow, but it's beautiful. It's very peaceful. Oh, there's a house here. This must be for the, hmm. People connected to the temple, I think. I wonder what these are. These red berry looking things. Ah, oh, it's such a beautiful day. Actually, when the sun shines, it's actually kind of nice and warm. It doesn't feel too cold. And there's no wind today. That's another good thing. A lot of times when I'm filming, it's so windy. What a beautiful temple. I love the temple grounds. Look at this. Beautiful. I guess we're allowed to walk here, huh? There's a pathway here. You can sit here. Ah, there's a pond there. I didn't notice because it's covered with snow and it's frozen. Oh, that was a bird, right? Did you guys see that bird fly past me? Oh, 
The temple's up there. Huh. I thought that was the temple over there. No, but the temple's up here. なるほどね I really enjoy I really enjoy temple visits when it's at a slow pace like this, you know, I'm not in a rush. I'm not on a time limit. It's not overly crowded. These steps are really strange. You can't tell, but these stairs are slanted downwards, <laughs> making it harder to walk up. Here we are. This is a temple. Beautiful. It was nice checking out the two temples here, the two most important temples in Matsushima. And uh, I, I, I did notice that a lot of the, the shops were closed. I actually want to try a couple of more things uh, food wise. Uh, I have my eyes on them, but they were closed because it is the New Year's holiday. Yeah, some places are closed because of the pandemic, but other places are closed because of the New Year's holiday. So yeah, um, that's okay because, you know, I was thinking, I was walking around today and I thought this would be a great place to make a video for Tabi Eats, you know, more in-depth video. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come back with Satoshi sometime this year and make a video for you guys on Tabi Eats. Okay, that was beautiful. And it is time to head out and go back to Sendai actually. Because I gotta go meet my friend Michael today, tonight for dinner. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And this is the last time I'm gonna be seeing snow for a while. Actually, I take that back because I am going to Yonezawa in February and it's gonna be snowing even harder than like the last time I was there. Look at the frozen lake. Pond, not a lake. Frozen pond. This part's not frozen, but look at that. Not completely frozen though. So it's not that cold yet. Alright guys, it's time for me to say goodbye. All I'm gonna do is uh, walk over to the station, uh, take the train back to Sendai, which is about 40 minutes by the way. And um, I'm gonna go meet my friend and have a nice dinner with him. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming along with me. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.